Welcome to the CHAP Soil Health Facilities here at Cranfield University. These facilities were set up in consultation with industry, farmers, agronomists, agribusinesses to address some of the key challenges in soil health management today. Soils are moving up the agenda and certainly that is of concern for industry in terms of how soil quality, soil health affect crop growth. So we consulted with industry and they identified approximately four key areas where these soil health facilities can address some of their key issues. So the four industry concerns is are we getting as much out of our soils as we possibly can to increase crop yield? We're interested in how we can manage soils better to enhance crop establishment and growth and therefore marketable yield to farmers throughout the country. So these soil health facilities allow us to look at crop growth over the whole rotation. We start off by preparing the soil as would be done in the field. So this is the soil processor which prepares those boxes that you saw in the glass house earlier and it allows us to carry out any sorts of tillage or cultivations that we want on those boxes when they're joined together. And then those boxes are carried out into the glass house where the crops begin to grow. We then sow the crops. We observe the establishment and growth of the crops within the glass house that we're standing in now. So this is one of the chap growth rooms where we can set the temperature, humidity, light to represent any season throughout the year. And these are our erosion trays where we're looking at the effect of erosion on plant establishment. But we're also looking at the effect of erosion on damaging the plant by splashback and contaminating those leaves which then require the leaves to be washed, which adds cost to the process. Chris is taking an image of the roots at depth, and what we're able to see is how the roots are penetrating through that compacted layer, and you can see the density of those roots from this scan, so we can see how those roots are penetrating through that compaction layer. That information tells us that these cover crops are doing a good job at breaking up that compaction making the soil physical structure much better for the follow-on crop. So we're delighted that um, Cranfield host um, some of the, the assets, the facilities of two of the agritech centres that have been set up by the agritech strategy. We have marriage between those two centres and this comes uh, in the fact that the AgriEpi hosts a phenotyping sensor platform. And what this allows us to do is to observe how crops grow over time. So we're interested in different moisture regimes. Here we have a very dry condition and you can see that the soil is crusting which makes that emergence very difficult. Whereas here we have a wet condition uh, where we're irrigating the plants and you can see the crusting is much less um, obvious and those plants are doing much better. And we can monitor that using some of the phenotyping sensors that we use in collaboration with AgriEpi Centre. And that then leads itself to blend very well with the crop uh, facilities which are growing the crop, but then we can analyse that crop in much more detail. AgriEpi also have some cool room facilities where we can store the crop post-harvest and we can monitor the levels of gas within these cold rooms to ensure that we're keeping nutritional quality and flavour. And that makes these facilities unique, that we have a seamless path right from primary production to post-harvest technology. It is very much for industry to answer some of their key commercial questions. So we believe these soil health facilities for the first time allow farmers, agronomists and agribusinesses to really understand soil management issues and how that can impact on crop health and protection. And by combining the CHAP facilities with AgriEpi, we can observe those changes in crop health over space and time.